Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm Holly Mike and today I'm gonna talk about something sort of Halloween related because Halloween is this weekend coming and that's pretty exciting. I like Halloween. I try to do something every year. I think I've dressed up pretty much every year even when I didn't have anything to do. For today's video I thought I would talk about fears and like those strange fears some people have. Just like weird stuff that now you're, you know, something happened and now you're a little freaked out by it because of a bad experience. For example, one for me is soft grapes. You don't know what you're gonna get when you eat a soft grape. It could be perfectly fine. It could be totally fine. Or it could be the worst experience of your life because it was totally rotten inside. Another thing that's freaked me out since I was little, which is really random, I think I've talked about in a past video, is you know when you have a, the washer running and it becomes unbalanced and it, it bangs? For some reason when I was a kid, it used to freak me out really bad and I used to picture like the washing machine was like coming to get me kind of thing, like it was walking. But now as an adult, I know that's not gonna happen, but when I hear that sound, it causes anxiety for some really weird reason. Uh, unbalanced washing machines freak me out, I guess. Clowns don't generally bother me. Clowns at night, I don't like them if it's dark. You know, at the daytime, there's a reason. There's probably a birthday party, a parade. At night, there's no need for clowns. It's just like past their bedtime. If you see a clown at night, I would be running. Another thing that freaks me out is wet paper. I don't know if you ever washed a pair of jeans where you left like a piece of paper in the pocket and then had to, you know, pick it up after. It's, it's not so bad if it's like, you know where the paper was, but if you've ever had to like clean something up and the paper was wet, and you don't know where it's been. It just, it just freaks me out. That's just gross and wrong on so many levels. I don't even know what else to say about that. Public toilets are really scary. Our Walmart's public toilet is probably one of the worst ones I've ever been in. I try to avoid them at all costs, unless it's like a complete emergency. But the Walmart ones are some of the worst. I don't even know what they're doing in there. Like either people have really horrible bowels or someone just doesn't know how to clean the toilets properly because there is no need for the way that toilet area looks. Another thing that freaks me out is tights as pants. I don't know where we got the idea that tights constituted as pants. Yeah, no, they're not. They're really, really not. Tights are supposed to be worn under things like shorts or skirts or long sweaters or tunics. Link is a great example of someone who knows how to wear tights properly. You know, I, I usually don't care. Like you wear whatever you want, but just so you know, if you wear tights, I'm probably gonna judge you a little. Just a little bit. Especially if those tights are white or beige. That just looks stupid. I don't have coffee today. I have a little bit of ginger ale and a little bit of southern comfort because... I don't know. Another thing that we can't forget to put on this list is centipedes. Spiders are fine. I don't care about spiders. Spiders bite, but big whoop. They're fine. They got eight legs. They don't move very quick unless they're the jumpy ones. They're fast. I don't really like them. I think they're just little spider ninjas. Um, but centipedes, they move so quick and you don't know when you're gonna find one because you'll just move something and it'll like just jet and it'll be gone. And all I can think is centipedes crawling in like ears and you know, on your face with all those legs. They should be illegal with tights. I don't like either of those things. They're like the same to me almost, kind of. Another thing that freaks me out is uh, when you watch movies and there's a kid possessed by a demon. Kids can kind of be creepy just on their own, but if you put a demon plus a kid, We've got a scary situation. The Exorcist is one of the few movies that have actually freaked me out legitimately. Like, I was freaked out by it. Um, and so is Pet Cemetery. I don't even think I watched the whole movie. I think I had to stop watching for some reason. Maybe it was too scary. It was a long time ago. But I'll never forget that creepy little child. Glad to something, Mommy. So yeah, that's it for my list today. I hope that you can relate to some of the items on my weird list of things that shouldn't be scary but sort of are, although some of them are pretty legit scary things. In the comments below, um, first I want you to write one of the things that scares you, that's kind of a weird thing, and second I want you to try to guess what I'm going as for Halloween based on this, which is a piece of a prop that I'm building, so it's the butt stock of a pellet gun, and this shirt from Giant Tiger. So in the comments below, I dare you, I Halloween dare you to try to guess what it is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, please have a very safe Halloween. Uh, remember to respect one another, even though some people may be wearing less clothes than usual. You should probably not touch them be unless they say it's okay. Consent is important. And don't take candy from strangers. Wait, no, wait. Halloween's the only time you can take candy from strangers. Okay, so take candy from strangers, but make sure there's not like na needles in it or anything. Anyway, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you real soon. I hope this video was fun for you as it was for me.